everybody and welcome to the losers bracket of my Pokemon <coughs> Pseudo Legendary Showdown. Um I wanna see who'd be uh eighth, seventh, sixth, and fifth place before I find out the final two. So yeah, um Tyranitar lost a Dragonite and Metagross lost a Salmon, so let's get right into it with the base stats. Metagross is better in attack, defense, and speed, while Tyranitar is better in HP and special defense, and they're both tied in attack. This isn't really hard, because if we look at the moves, we could see that Metagross clearly wins with a four times, the four times effectiveness with Hammer Arm, and... Yeah, you could say it has the 90 accuracy, but that 100 attack power kind of overwrites it a little. While Tyranitar's best move to do against a Metagross would have to be Earthquake. And, yeah, you could see the 100 attack power. But I went to the Pokemon Damage Calculator, and you could look at the Pokemon Damage Calculator yourself. Earthquake only has a 97.7 .7 chance to 2 hit KO. Not surprising, because Metagross has a boss amount of defense. So, the win for Metagross there. For type defense, if you don't know how they work, go to one of my earlier videos, but let's get right into it. Tyranitar has 23 points, and Metagross has 16.25 points. So, Metagross is our winner. So, let's go to their abilities. Tyranitar, who's not really gifted with the good abilities, got Sandstream, the summons a storm in battle and a nerve which makes it not very useful. Berries are like useless so sometimes. But Metagross has clear body so it prevents it from winning its stats. Um pretty useless because um uh Tyranitar doesn't really ha have any moves. Well Screech I guess. Sque wait, is Screech one? Yeah, I guess you could say Screech would be one, but actually the Screech, actually Clear Body would be a good ability. Oh, what just happened? Alright, well, Clear Body would be a good ability if it wasn't for the fact that Metagross outspeeds and and one shots. But if it but if it misses, I guess the Screech will happen. And if it misses again, which is like, what? I guess it grants you KO. So clear body could work. And light metal would have the Pokemon's weight, which is useless. Great. Both of these Pokemon are ungifted with these abilities. Alright, so Sandstream. And clear body, clear body wins. Unnerve and clear body, clear body wins. Light metal and Sandstream, light metal wins. No, not light metal. Sandstream wins in Unnerve versus Light Metal. I have to say Unnerve wins because Unnerve actually has a purpose, while Light Metal, I guess, has no purpose. So, I guess this, the abilities, is actually a tie. So, for Tyranitar to win and not be at the loser's bracket, he has to win the abilities, the base stats, and the tech defenses. And we know one of them are is impossible. <laughs> Alright, so let's start off with their abilities with the Megas. Megas has Tough Claw, so it boosts the powers of physical moves. That, um, I guess that can benefit Hammer Arm even more because Mega Tyranitar has 150 base defense. So it is pretty useful. Let me do the math action. Yep, Tough Claws actually does give Hammer Arm the one hit KO. Uh, earthquake. Uh, if it has another ability, let's say, um, simple, it'd just be a guaranteed 2 hit KO. Which would mean Tyranitar would actually win because Earthquake always hits when Hammer Arm doesn't. But because of Tough Claws, he actually wins. And Tyranitar has Sandstream. Alright, it has the same ability. So I guess Tough Claws is the winner. Let's go to their base stats. Huh. Alright, so Tarantar has higher 
um, HP, attack, um, and special defense, and and Metagross has higher higher special attack and speed with their defense stats being the same. As we just saw with the Pokemon damage calculator, because of Tough Claws, Metagross actually wins in this territory. <coughs> you know, with the Tough Claws and the boosted 100 attack power, ba-boom, you win. Um, now to their type defenses. Which, the points are actually the same, because the, nothing really gets affected because of these. So, within a clear victory to Metagross, he got 5 points. Tyranitar didn't even get a single one. Tyranitar, you don't stand a chance against Metagross, man. You don't, you don't stand a chance. Even though you have the edge with, you know, that. You somehow still lose Tyranitar. I love you, Tyranitar. You just suck as a pseudo legendary. That wasn't meant to be me. He just kind of sucks compared to the other legendaries. Alright, so that was my list. Um, I still have to give Weezing over Arbok the clearest victory because, because when they were regular, their abilities were tied and Weezing just beat everything. Um, I guess, um, Metagross won around 80, 87% of the matches when Weezing won 100%. But there was more at stake here with, you know, six things instead of three. But I still think Weezing has the best overall rating compared to its thing. But, you know, Metagross is a close second. So, yeah, guys, bye.